Yo guys, it's Cyro, you already know that. Today we are playing some more Danganronpa, and on the last episode, things uh, got going. As you can see right in front of you, uh, Junko was killed by Monokuma um, because she violated one of the school regulations. Uh, and so now everybody else knows that we need to follow the school regulations. But not only that, Sayaka also died, and we need to figure out who killed her. Um, and I think that's probably going to start by talking to people. Uh, Kyoko is the one that is front and center, so I assume talking to her is going to be the way to move forward. So, I mean, let's just get into it, honestly. No. This really notched up, like, right away. We were just hanging out with people, you know, everything was going so slow, and then just boom, back to back. People are dropping, like, like crazy now. Uh, before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so that nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, the culprit uh, decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Oh, uh, in that case, I won't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Okay, uh, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. Unless he actually did it. Yeah, uh, well, no, we can't just leave him there alone. <laughs> what? Why the hell not? Well, isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for car duty, uh, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. What? Fuck you. No, no. Fine, then I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. <laughs> two player co-op base defense with the two of them. With their stats, they're totally OP. Oh, we got a gamer in the chat. Oh my gosh. Watch out. Since we, uh... Won't be able to help investigate. We're putting our faith in the rest of you. Uh, I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Okay, so mm, do we talk to somebody else? <laughs> we need to hurry up, uh, up and figure out who the culprit is. So do we just go to the crime scene then? Uh, he's gonna stay and watch, right? Huh? Is this really happening? Screw that piece of shit there. All right, I think. Are we good? Oh, hold on. Huh? Before we begin, the, isn't there something else we need to discuss? Oh, yeah. Wait, with her? Or do I need to discuss with someone else? We're going to find out who the killer is. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. Uh, do I need to just, like, talk to everybody? Fumi? Right, consciousness has crashed. Restarting now. Please wait a moment. Nah, oh, he sucks. I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to, so I'm just going to talk to everybody until it seems like I've gotten progress. Uh, she must be so, so shocked that she can't even open her mouth to talk. Okay. Uh, someone got right in front of us. They... Mm. Yeah. Actually, maybe Sakura will have something. We can't run away from the situation. So we have no choice but to move forward. Oh, you know what? It's probably to investigate this. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse like they do in movies and stuff, but... Uh, yeah, she really is dead, which, I mean, not surprised about. Uh, from this angle, it looks like there's only, like, five different spears. Uh, in the cutscene they showed, it looked like a lot more. But there wasn't any anything else to say. She was gone. I don't know why you even bothered to check after those injuries and losing that much blood. Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Wait, hold on. Oh, hold on. Just wait a second. Oh, okay. He's gonna say something about how this is an act and it's all pretend, or he's finally come to the revelation that it's not. She, <laughs> she's dead. Um, that means uh, that means everything that's happened so far is real. It's not a joke or whatever. It's really real. Oh hell no! Someone save me. Let me out of here. <laughs> I can do this like chill voice when he's chill. When he's like freaking out, I don't really know how to translate that. Somebody help me! You're just now accepting that? Um, I guess we'll continue going down the line. There's only a couple left anyway. I hate this, but still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it, or else we're all dead. Hmm? Uh, so you finally noticed. Huh? Notice what? I was looking through the Monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? What are you talking about? Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's room. Uh, Makoto's dorm. <laughs> what? She's right. I mean, don't we all know that? Am I the only one that saw this body? Didn't everybody... Uh, okay, whatever, sure. Uh, then could it be? 
All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Oh, hold on a second. You've got it all wrong. Uh, for just one night, I traded runes with her. I did it because she was afraid. You expect us to believe that? Just tell us the truth. Uh, the look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear I'd return. In other words, you think I did it? Yeah. Ariel isn't talking. We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues from to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong, well, do I really have to say any more? I'd rather you didn't, no. Everyone pray for good luck. Uh, with that, Kyoko hurry out of the gym. So I don't know if I just needed to look at the Monokuma file, or I just had to talk to Celeste. That's like a weird trigger for that, but okay. Mm -hmm. I'll be going too. Uh, and just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head to the scene of the crime. Ah, uh, that's right. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this is here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, they better not let me find him. Ask him to try and cave the goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious, I will fuck them up. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. I think Sakura would still beat him up uh, in a fight, but they're uh, both guard on guard duty, duty together, so uh, yeah, that's nobody is like getting past them. But, I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're going to investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? It was you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Don't come any closer. Are you going to kill me next? Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. That's true. We may as well have uh, at least check just to check. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help investigate. Uh, wait, why not? I'm not good with blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Oh, well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. Harsh. But kind of true, but harsh. Alright. I guess I better get going. Oh, wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. Uh, and their parting looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. Uh, does everyone really think I'm the killer? I mean, yeah. We spent literally an entire day together. Um, like, we were definitely seen together the most, and then she died in my room. So, yeah, I, I like, I get it, um, but it still sucks. Especially because there's definitely no way that I did it. So, how did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Yeah, we gotta clear our name. Otherwise, everyone will die. Yep, execution. Because they'll kill me, and then they'll get it wrong, and then they'll all die. I, I don't need to repeat everything. We've already been through that. Uh, I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out that way. Mon uh, I can't let it turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka. Alright. Investigate. Very cool. Alright, I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. Uh, the victim was Sayaka Maizona. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. Okay, so that's like the middle of the night. Uh, the body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. Okay. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. It was also uh, an injury to her right wrist. Okay. Stab wound, abdomen, abdomen. Okay. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. Okay. Uh, we have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow I have to find out the truth so that we can all survive. And for Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed. Uh, well, she was... Oh, wait, I, I need to look at that again. Something in the ab abdomen? Hold up. Uh, truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay. Uh, I actually want to double check that again. Uh, can I look at the... The file? Report card regulations. Uh, I don't know if I can just, like, look at the file. Oh, that sucks. Is it in here? Oh, okay. In the truth bullets, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, stab wound to the abdomen. Alright, so we know kind of how she died. But kind of the events that led up to it, we don't really know. Uh, do you guys have anything to offer? I'm just going to help investigate Chihiro. But I can't leave Junko here. I, I feel sorry for her. I have to stay with her. Uh, you're probably just freaking out. Uh, no way. I seriously don't want to die here. 
I'm begging you. God, Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune. Help me. I don't care who it is. Just get me out of here. Uh, he doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. True that. Is there anything more to do? God, man, that sucks for Junko, though. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, she's really dead. <sighs> that really sucks. I like Junko a lot. And I like Sayaka a lot. <sighs> Alright. It's time to be detectives. Uh, we can do this. I could probably fast travel away, but whatever. Um, we just need to go, yeah, head to the scene of the crime, my room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. I was just going to say the same thing. Okay, cool. So they're just going to take me there. I was like, I could fast travel there or I'll run there. I like that this game does kind of guide you to where you need to go without, uh, making you, like, walk everywhere. Um, if it's, like, pointless to do so. Uh, so I headed to my room where Saka's corpse still remained. Okay. I better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. I mean, there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot. The sword is on the ground. Uh, this is a replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? Uh, and plus, the sword's been taken out, so it's just this sheath, but... Hmm? There's some scratches on the sheath. Uh, they must have been made with something sharp. Okay. But how'd the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if somebody used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. That is true. I mean, if you're going to attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of a fight. So why are the scratches on the sheath? Hmm, okay. Replica sword sheath has been added to the truth bullets. Cool, so we can look at that at any time. Um, can talk about these scratches? Uh, there are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Um, is that evidence of a struggle? Probably. It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it, I was right here in, uh, or right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. Yep, because they're all soundproof. That would not have been possible. Huh? Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. Thank you, Sakura. Uh, so something could happen in, in the room right next to you, and there's no way you could know. Perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. How did someone get in here? Because nobody was supposed to come in. Uh, evidence of a struggle has been added to the truth bullets. Okay. Um, so I assume that's all, like, the same, uh, there. I guess we'll look at this. Huh? Looking at the lint roll, it looks like there's way less than there was before. Interesting, okay. Did I see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? Don't know. Uh, is there any more over here? That's just gonna talk to Sakura, so that means there's nothing about the table. Is there anything behind? Uh, it's the display stand the sword was on. Okay, so nothing there. Um, should we talk to Kyoko, maybe? Does she have anything for us? Hey, Kyoko. Uh, I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but... What are you doing? Is that the first time I've heard Makoto's voice, like, talk? No, 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 I can't be right. I probably heard it in the, uh, the beginning. Uh, isn't it obvious? No, not really. I'm searching. She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. <laughs> Did you lose a contact or something? No, she's investigating. I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so. But what? Uh, nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. Interesting. What's interesting? Yeah. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. What is unusual about it? Uh, yeah, what do you mean? I searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single stra strand of hair. Really? Yeah. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair f uh, from you, even though you've been living in here. Mmm, lint roller. Uh, you know, now that you mentioned it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Uh, could someone have used it to... Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Mm, was it Sayaka or the killer? So. That's the question, isn't it? Nice. Okay, Makoto's room cleanliness. Truth bullets, okay. Uh, it's just more stuff. I guess we should look in the bathroom? Okay, there's more, all right, there's still more stuff here. All right, let's see what we can find. Oh, what's this? Is this my key? 
There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it, so this must be my room key. If I remember correctly. Ah, oh, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. Yeah, when we switch our rooms, we switch keys too, so Sayaka would have had uh, the key here in my room the entire time. Um, but wait, if that's true, then how did the killer get in the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? Uh, do they automatically lock? Yeah, it seems impossible. Uh, same goes for you, uh, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or open it for any reason. I didn't even think about the fact that, like, someone's door could just be unlocked. I was just assuming that they're just always locked at all times, but I guess it doesn't have to be the case. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Sako is in here when we switch rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer... Hmm. Switching rooms, added truth bullets, okay, so we got more stuff. Uh... It, that's gotta just be part of the evidence of trouble. Oh wait, was this, did I, was the sword here the entire time? I did not remember actually seeing it. Uh, this is the replica sword I bought, brought back for so, oh wait, wait. it was using the uh, attack somehow, plus it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now, I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. That looks pretty cool, like that's that, that looks like a pretty cool sword that I wouldn't mind having. Um, if I was into, like, collecting swords. Uh, on top of that, some of the gold coating has come off of parts of the blade and the handle. Okay. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to even if you just touched it a little bit. Yeah, so somebody held it and then a lot of the coating came off. That makes sense. Replica sword, truth bullets. All right, cool. We are getting a lot of stuff. Uh, more stuff to look at. Anything in the drawer? Uh, the toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that's been used at all. Okay, which uh, makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I'd need a toolkit like this. Oh. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. Uh, we ain't exactly in the mood to be building fucking furniture, right? Uh, so you haven't used yours either, right? Uh, then? <laughs> Not just me. Nobody's busted their out yet, far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. None of the guys have opened the toolkits yet, because, like, why the hell would we? Okay, toolkit. It's been added, so n none of those were used. Uh, none of those were, like, used as weapons or anything. Uh, is there anything else laying around? Can I look in the bathroom yet? I know the other side of the door. Okay, this is different dialogue. So I think we saw everything that we need to. No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Force myself to push uh, my panic down. I stepped into the bathroom. And see what we can see. Uh, looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her her. Sayaka. All at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why does Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. Alright, let's investigate. There's just two things to look at. I guess we'll look at her body first. Uh, I told myself I couldn't face uh, what I saw, but but now there's no time to think like that. I pulled out the monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object, definitely looks like a knife, uh, has been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. Yeah, that, yeah, that makes sense. Um, but whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Saka's right wrist is broken. Okay, it's hard to tell from here, but... Okay, I believe it. Oh, I see. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery there on her wrist, too. That could be from either the... Uh, the sword itself, or the sheath. Hmm. I don't know, that doesn't look like a cut that would get cut by the sword. Maybe it is, maybe it, I don't know. Right there where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery, and that definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is, uh, there's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of both her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? Saka's wrist has been at the truth bullets, cool, cool. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? Yeah, that makes sense. So, it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle in the room, yeah, okay. 
The killer attacks Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. Yeah, this all sort of adds up in my mind right now. This is something separate to investigate. Uh, I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her, and there I saw... I mean, uh, that definitely looks like uh, a backwards E, an O, and I guess that could be a 7, but I mean, I really only see... So, the, the picture up close definitely looks like numbers, but if you see it on the wall, like, it definitely looks like it just says, like, like Leo. Uh, but in the blood were the numbers 11037. I don't, I don't think she was writing numbers. Uh, did uh, Sayaka do this? Uh, she has blood on her left index finger. She could have used that to, to put that on the wall, yeah. I think that's actually very plausible. Yeah, from this angle right here, like, I literally just see, like, L-E, and then... Uh, what, at the closer up, it looked like a... Can you see it? Yeah, it looks like an O. Like, it looks like it just says, like, Leo, like, upside down. Um, because you can't see the other numbers, you, you have no reference for a starting point, which means that my starting point is, like, the right side of the wall. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's, like, it. Alright, well, there was nothing else to investigate here, so let's leave here. Hmm. There's gotta be other areas that we need to go investigate, then. It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers, that's most likely Sayaka's dying message. Let's do bloody numbers... I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? <laughs> but the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037, I have no idea what that could possibly mean. The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, uh, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand towards the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Think about it. You're not going to tell me? You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. I mean, she's basically hand-holding uh, me to say that it would be written upside down. Uh, so I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that just says Leo or Leon. Um, which there is somebody who is named Leon. So that is good to know. Uh, otherwise, uh, this case will end and you'll only... And you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obviously you're not, you're not going to tell me. Uh, dying message, added the truth bullets, we got a lot of stuff. Uh, it sounds like Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means. But honestly, yeah, I have no idea. Except for I do. Uh, oh, I know who I should talk to. Uh, when it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Okay. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Uh, broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? Get stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, uh, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Aha! Uh -huh. Bathroom door frame. Yeah, because only us and Sayak would know about that. So, uh, so the door uh, doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? Uh, but actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Ooh, the doorknob. So, you didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Oh yeah, it's like, si like that, like sideways basically. Huh? The doorknob. Uh, I mean, let's look at it. Uh, what the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Huh. Why is it like this? That's crazy. That would make me think that, uh, yeah, someone must use a screwdriver or something, but the tools were not used. Uh, whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. Uh, what? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. Hmm. Okay. So they were trying to, like, pick the, the lock. Maybe Sokka went in there to hide? And then they were able to bust in or something. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms uh, can lock, right? Hmm. Yeah, she stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently, stuck with the struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Yep. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door uh, would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, uh, well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it. Mm -hmm, interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. Uh, I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. And that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Well, see you later. <laughs> As if forgetting I was even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Bathroom doorknob has been added to the uh, truth bullets, all that fun stuff. And I still not really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from, and also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. Uh, with Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. 
And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks, if they'll even talk to me, that is. Um, okay. So we're gonna leave this area. Do we need to go collect the DVD from Sayaka's room? Uh, huh, this is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka in Oh, wait, what? Oh, this is my room, but it has Sayaka's name on it. Oh, what the? Wait a minute. This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. They switched the nameplates. So all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Interesting. Can I, can I actually go in or no? Okay. Because if I am supposed to look at her DVD, her DVD was in the trash. So let's get that. Uh, that only be one thing. Yep, DVD with Saka's name on it. Uh, Saka got really upset after seeing whatever was in that video. I wonder, what did she see? It might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. Um, sorry, Saka, I need to borrow this DVD. Alright, and we can leave here. We can go to the AV room. Um, I... Actually, I probably should talk to everybody. Hey, what's up, Leon? Hmm, something doesn't seem, uh, something doesn't seem right. Monokuma file said Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it, but how could it be the nameplate? Oh, okay, so I guess if we didn't notice the nameplate switch, he would be the one to uh, have us check that out. Hmm, very strange. Mr. Nayagi, what was Miss Maizono doing in your room? Let me just say this. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? In the trash room? Okay. Uh, do you have anything useful to say? So, why was Saki in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? No, you've got it all wrong. Saki and I switched rooms last night. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. <laughs> even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? Huh? Uh, after all, she wouldn't have died uh, if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. The reason Saka was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms? Oh, wait, she suggested that. She suggested that. She's dead because of me? Then it should have been me that died. But then the nameplate switched. So they thought that they were killing Sayaka? Oh, I don't know. Well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. Uh, that's... If that's really true, then I... Mm, interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, let's, yeah, let's just, well, let's walk around in case we find, uh, run into anybody. I do want to go to the aviary room and watch this DVD, uh, which I'm pretty sure is right around here. Wait, that's the store. Is the AV room? Um, oh, okay. I still don't know where anything is, apparently. Uh, I was going to try and get a better, uh, layout, look at, like, where everything is. Uh, do you have anything to say? Do you have a second Makoto? I've uncover uncovered something most unusual. The door to everyone's dorm has a nameplate on it to show where whose room is. It, it is, right? Well, it just so happens. Wait, no, 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 you might be the killer yourself. I can't tell you anything. Forget everything I said. Forget, forget, forget beam. Uh, okay. Sorry, just a little joke. Even I do jokes sometimes. Ha ha ha. Uh, sure thing. Oh yeah, the AV room is right here. Okay, I'm not going crazy. Alright, let's watch this DVD. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, this music is really unsettling. Well, at least that part of the track was. Uh, I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that sacked through in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then... Oh, nice happy music. An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there along with, their, uh, with the friends she said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept, except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then that voice I'd come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Mmm. Sayaka Manzona, the ultimate pop sensation. Lead singer for our world-famous all-girl pop band. Uh, for these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... Mmm. What happened? Suddenly the screen went dark, and in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. Ooh, oh my gosh, wait, is that actually like their bodies? Oh my gosh. 
Like, we got, like, a hole in our house, and, like, it's alleged that something bad probably happened to our family, but, like, that's just straight up four presumably dead bodies. That's ridiculous. Saka had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins, but I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. That is crazy. This ultra-successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What or oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Look for the answer after graduation. Hmm. Without warning, the video cut off. Okay, so that's what she saw. That actually kind of gave me chills, I'm not gonna lie. So I, I kind of understand her crazy reaction uh, after she watched it. Dang. Uh, that wasn't real, right? I mean, they're super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Uh, is he trying to say he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Man, that's a good question. That's a good question. Uh, before I forget, I would like to go back to the gym. Uh, is the gym on this side? The gym is on this side. So I can just go there. Um, because something uh, about numbers... Uh, the numbers on the wall, um, uh, Makoto mentioned about going to see the Ultimate Programmer, and I'm assuming Chihiro is still chilling in the gym. So let's talk to her and see what sort of information we can get from that. Uh, hey Chihiro, I was hoping I could ask you something. Huh? Oh, what is it? Uh, before she died, Saka left a message. She wrote out the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what these numbers might mean? Like, could they be a code or something? Uh, sorry, no. Chihiro slowly shook her head. I'm sorry, I just don't know. Okay, well, uh, don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for trying. Hmm, even she doesn't know. Or could she maybe know more than she's letting on? Hmm. Nah, couldn't be. Yeah, I, I doubt it, but also she's like not being a part of this investigation. Uh, you never know. You never know. But, alright, there shouldn't be anything in here to look at. Um, I, I'm not entirely sure what we would do next. Uh, I feel like we've gotten a decent amount accomplished here. I thought that maybe the investigation could take place over one episode, but it might be two uh, as we decide what we should do. So I'm actually going to wrap this episode up here, and then we will continue and hopefully finish the investigation next time. Oh, you know what? Next time, uh, Hifumi said something about the trash room. Maybe we'll look for that uh, and see what we can do, go from there. So that's going to be our next stop. That's going to be the end of this episode, and we will uh, pick up there on the next time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, and I will see you next time. Peace.